Hello dear friends, how are you all? Hope you all are well. So let's start our today's class. Today our topic is comparison of numbers. So let's see what are you going to learn today? The basic concepts of comparison of numbers and uh, important rules of comparison of numbers and how to do it. And then I will tell you the easy trick to remember the symbols of comparison of numbers. Okay. So, let's start. So, at first what is comparison of numbers? To, com uh, to compare two numbers means to find whether one number is greater than another number, one number is less than another number and one number is equal to another number. Now let's see the symbols that used to compare numbers. There are three different symbols or signs which are used to compare the numbers. Number one is this sign represent greater than. When one number is bigger than another we can use greater than sign. And number two is this sign. This sign represent less than. When one number is smaller than another we can use less than sign. And number three is equal to. And when two numbers are equal, we use the equal sign. Okay, now the most important thing that is the rules of comparison of numbers. So, let us see the rule number 1. If a number has more digits than the other number, that number is greater or larger of the two numbers. So, let us see one example and here we can see the two numbers 24 and 9. The, uh, the 24 is two digit numbers and 9 is single digit numbers. So, obviously 24 is greater than 9. Now, let us see the uh, rule number 2. If two numbers have the same number of digits, then we compare the two numbers by comparing digits at different places starting from the largest place. That uh, uh, we will show in the step, step by step. So, let us see the step number 1. Compare largest place value digits that is the leftmost digits in both the numbers. The number with greater digit is greater of the 2. Now, let us see the step number 2. If the leftmost digits are same, then compare the next place value digits that is the second digits from the left and the number with greater digit is greater of the two and uh, this step two will repeat until you find unequal digits at corresponding places. Now let us see the step number three. If all digits of the both the numbers are same then the numbers are equal. Now, let us see some examples and each is in each example, I will show you how to use these steps. So, let us see the first example and here we can see there are two baskets. In number 1 baskets, there are 35 apples. In number 2 baskets, there are 40 apples. But in which baskets uh, contain more apples, how will you find out? Let us see the step number 1. Compare the largest place value digits that is the leftmost digits and here the numbers are two digits numbers. So, let us compare the digits at tenth place and you can see the number having greater tenth digit is greater. So, 4 is greater than 3. So, obviously 40 is greater than 35 and we can also write that 35 is less than 40. Now, let us see the next example and here are also two baskets and in number 1 basket there are 35 apples, in number 2 baskets there are 37 apples. So, let us find out in which baskets have more apples. Let us see the step number 1 first. Compare the largest place value digits that is the leftmost digits and here the digits are same you can see that 3 and 3. So, let us go to the step number 2. If the leftmost digits are same, then compare the next place value digits that is the second digits from the left and uh, that is the ones place digits and you can see that number having greater ones digit is greater that is 7 greater than 5. 
so we can write that 37 is greater than 35 and we can also write 35 is less than 37 okay now let's uh, go to the next example and here in number 1 uh, basket there are 35 apples in number 2 basket there are 35 apples so let's see the step number 1 first because we comparing the numbers and compare step number 1 is compare the largest place value digits and here the numbers are same 3 and 3 so let's go to the step number 2 if the leftmost digits uh, are same then compare the next place value digits the second digits and here that's are also same that is 5 and 5 so let's go to the step number 3 if all digits of both the numbers are same then uh, then the numbers are equal so we can write that 35 is equal to 35 now i will tell you the easy trick to remember the symbols actually we often uh, confuse between the two symbols that is greater than and less than so that's why i will tell you the first trick that is the open end or the big end of the arrow that is this end is always pointing the larger number and the close end or the small end of the arrow that is this end is always pointing the smaller number got it that means big number is always greater than smaller number and we can also write the small number is lesser than big number before the end of our today's class, let's see once again what did we learn today. We learned today rules of comparison of numbers, steps of comparing numbers and I told you the easy trick to remember the greater than and less than symbols. And uh, in our next class, we will discuss the question from brain test number 12 the, for class 2 and class 3. And uh, that's what that's for uh, you uh, visit our website welcome to math.com and <clears throat> register for our free course brain test and if you are in class 2 register for uh, class 2 test and if you are in class 3 register for class 3 test okay so that's all for the day take care and bye bye